Breaking news, a hazmat situation at a liquid school, Air Tracker 7 over Jefferson County Open School, as students are decontaminated by men in white hazmat suits. Several students becoming ill while playing at recess this afternoon. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon talking with one parent whose child was suffering from eye irritation. She joins us live from the school. Lindsay? Mike, 31 people, mostly elementary age students, were, had some kind of adverse reaction to something. Now, it's still unclear what exactly that was, but they all had to step into a large tub right in front of the school and then be hosed down. And for many of the young ones, they looked pretty nervous as they were hopping on the buses to meet up with their parents. I was a little concerned. This father holds on to his son, dressed in a blue plastic gown and barefoot. They called from the, from the nurse's office to have me come pick them up. Just before one, West Metro firefighters got a call from Jefferson County Open School saying at least seven children were complaining of irritation to their eyes and skin. When we arrived, one student was on a stretcher getting loaded into an ambulance. They had red irritated skin and red eyes. A hazmat team treated a total of 30 students and one teacher, many of them walking out of this blue tent with wet hair and barefoot. Seven were taken to local hospitals. And so far, our hazmat detectors have not picked up specifically what the issue was. We can tell you, however, that we had different um, hits of some um, toxic irritant type stuff. West Metro Fire says it appears the toxin was outside the northeast part of the school. Now their devices are not picking up any toxins. So they're expanding the area to see if it was something nearby that blew in from the wind. Now, initial reports were that this is possibly a fertilizer that was laid on a soccer field just north of here. Firefighters tell me they have since ruled that out. The problem with trying to figure out what exactly has caused this is their devices are no longer picking up toxins in the area, so it's possible they may never know what exactly caused this reaction. Live in Lakewood, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.